ancient arena for ocean giants. In one corner, enormous yellow fin tuna, nearly twice the length of a man, weighing over 800 pounds, one of the fastest fish in the ocean. In the other corner, sharks, thousands of them, crushing teeth, lightning fast speed and street gang numbers. But the tuna remain one step ahead. This is Shark V's Tuna, Ascension Island, a marine battleground. Some call it the Rock, a Jurassic Park lost in the South Atlantic Ocean, over 1,000 miles from land in any direction. Everything that lives here or stops here is either hunter or hunted. Ascension plays host to one of nature's greatest showdowns. Thousands of the ocean's most deadly predators arrive from far and wide to fight it out in a high-stakes battle royale. The diverse waters of Ascension. Schools of jacks dominate the drop-off. Thousands of green turtles come here annually to nest on the sandy beaches, and swarms of huge predatory fish like barracuda, marlin, and wahoo lurk in the open water. But no one is safe. Except, maybe this enormous yellow fin tuna, the Ascension Oasis. This superfish normally lives life in the desert of the open ocean where food is scarce. But every Easter, Ascension Island becomes an oasis for giant tuna migrating across the Atlantic. It's one of the largest concentrations of yellow fin in the world. The yellow fin tuna king of speed. To get in and out of the rock alive, you must be big, smart, and fast. Despite being near the top of the food chain, tuna are a favorite meal for sharks if they can catch them. So not only must the yellow fin be an exceptional predator, the science behind yellow fin tuna. The average yellow fin is by no means small, but ascension is home to giants. Nearly twice the length of a man and as heavy as a horse, this is one of the fastest fish in the ocean. Even the US Navy studied it as a model for submersible drone. The Ascension Feeding Grounds. The tuna's arrival acts like a dinner bell for some of the ocean's fiercest marine predators. At this time of year, the tuna are set to run a gauntlet of sharks, and they aren't the only ones that want a piece of the tuna. The thrill of sport fishing. Tales of Ascension's big game fish attract sports fishermen and trophy hunters from all over the world. Of all the fish they target here, the giant yellow fin is highly prized. Some carry a $20,000 paycheck. The hunt begins. The wily tuna doesn't take the bait this time. An eight-foot wahoo does. The sharks hunger. With the sharks distracted in frenzy, the tuna escape, but the battle lines are drawn. These sharks mean business, and there are thousands of them. The sharks of ascension. Like the tuna, sharks ride the South Atlantic current to ascension in terrifying numbers. Tigers, hammerheads, and mako to the ever-increasing sightings of Galapagos sharks. Each is locked in an evolutionary arms race with the tuna. And right now, no one knows who's winning. The siege on the rock. The sharks patrol the beaches. The rock is under siege. The sharks' desperate hunt. There is an abundance of prey here. But like the fishermen, the sharks' holy grail is the giant yellow fin. After traveling thousands of miles to get here, these sharks are desperate to replenish their reserve. The yellow fin tuna, a rare prize. Tuna are jam-packed with some of the richest, fattiest meat in the ocean, and an 800-pound yellow fin is the jackpot. But how on earth will these sharks successfully catch and kill such formidable prey? The Galapagos Shark Ascension's local hunter. To hunt these superfish, you need extraordinary predatory powers. Meet the resident bad boy, the Galapagos Shark. Ascension is their local hunting ground. And unlike the tuna and migrant sharks, they know this terrain like the backs of their hands. The Galapagos sharks smart A and D deadly. Most of them grew up here, learning to hunt in the shallow nurseries. And in the last two years, 
Galapagos sightings have increased dramatically. Despite reaching 12 feet in length, this welterweight is only half the size of the giant yellow fin. The Galapagos sensory advantage. Its streamlined and slender frame does give this shark agility and speed like the tuna. But like its cousin, the tiger shark, the Galapagos has more powerful jaws and sharper serrated teeth. This allows for a highly varied diet, from bony fish and iguanas, to sea lions, and even each other. The Galapagos secret weapon. But here, at Ascension, yellow fin remain a number one prize. Oily prey, like tuna leaves a scent signature up to two miles away. In the open blue water, this Galapagos shark's incredible sense of smell could give it the edge. Almost two-thirds of their brain is dedicated to smell. The sharks of ascension, a mob of aggression. The Galapagos may be fast, agile, and aggressive, and they may have the numbers, but one-on-one, -on -one, they hardly stand a chance. In the open ocean, the giant tuna are just too fast, too strong, and too big. The undisputed heavyweight tiger shark. This tank can only swim slightly faster than an iceberg. Even at its top speed of 20 miles per hour, it doesn't have the stamina to keep up. To catch these fish, you need real speed, and there is only one shark fast enough. The tiger shark, a master of stealth, as well as numbers. The tuna also have exceptional speed and endurance. Thanks to their fatigue-resistant muscles, the giant tuna could finish the Boston Marathon in just over 30 minutes, maxing out at up to 47 miles per hour, as fast as an American quarter horse. The hunt begins tuna Vs. Shark, two of the ocean's fastest predators, are locked in a battle of speed. The short fin mako, the need for speed. The mako may have supreme speed and agility, but so does the giant tuna. It's the Galapagos mob that has the best chance of a successful hunt. A shark is dangerous enough, but an intelligent shark is deadly. The Galapagos intelligent hunting strategy. The Galapagos is smart on its own. And here at Ascension, this is their domain and it's time to take it back. The hunt is on. For the Galapagos, it's double or nothing. It's the end of July, and the giant tuna are here. These yellow fins are super fast, immensely strong, and can grow to well over 800 pounds, making them even harder to catch. They are what everyone wants, the fishing game. The fishermen have yet to hook a giant tuna. It's too dangerous to get back in the water. The only safe way to catch one is from the boat. Could this be the opportunity the sharks have been waiting for? The final showdown. The dinner bell is ringing. It's like the Wahoo Massacre, but this meal is as big as some of the sharks. The Galapagos feeding frenzy. One dominant shark gets the first taste. Thick, warm blood will attract the masses. The sharks swarm. The tuna fights back. In less than a minute, a 350-pound fish vanish it. The fishermen leave with nothing but a broken line. The Galapagos rule the rock. The Galapagos sharks rule the rock. The final twist. The hungry sharks are left with nothing but the scraps of his bait bag. Perhaps it was this distraction of free food or that only a handful of sharks arrived that enabled the diver's lucky escape. The human impact. The fishermen have yet to hook a giant tuna. It's too dangerous to get back in the water. The only safe way to catch one is from the boat. Could this be the opportunity the sharks have been waiting for? The ultimate predator. Ascension Island, the battleground of ocean giants, where the ultimate showdown between the fierce sharks and the formidable yellowfin tuna unfold. But in this natural spectacle, one cannot ignore the influence of man and the impact on this delicate ecosystem. The struggle for survival in the South Atlantic continues, and only time will reveal who emerges as the true ruler of the rock. Hit that subscribe button and drop a comment. We can't wait to connect with you.
and have you as part of our growing YouTube family. Thanks for your support.